Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with an unboxing show and tell that involves one of my favorite things, which is dinosaurs. I don't know about you, but I went to the library every weekend with my folks and I spent at least five years just taking out all the books they had on sharks and dinosaurs and reading the same books every single weekend. Uh, like every kid, dinosaurs are the coolest thing I could think of when I was young and they are still among the coolest things I can think of. I love dinosaurs so much, I have a full-size cast of Sue, the T-Rex dug up in the Black Hills and uh, currently ensconced at the Field Museum, hanging uh, in the middle of the display area of my shop. And I have a brand new Jurassic World toy to talk about, and it is Dreadnoughtus. Uh, this is one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered. And the reason I'm covering it is because it was discovered by my friend, Ken Lacavera, uh, who is a paleontologist par excellence. Uh, he discovered Dreadnoughtus in Patagonia, the southern tip of South America. And uh, it began with a femur. Yeah, he went down there and he found a leg bone of Dreadnoughtus, and the said leg bone was two plus meters long, seven feet long, just for the thigh bone of this dinosaur. He knew he had something big. That bone was alone, it turns out, but over the next four years, he found another Dreadnoughtus and dug it up, and because he discovered it, he got to name it. And this is one of my favorite things about, one, meeting and learning about, meeting Ken, learning about dinosaurs from him, and then learning about what he loves about the huge herbivores. Holy cow. Oh, this is great. Dude, toys are so much better now. Uh, all right. Yeah, Ken said he always thought it was a shame that herbivores, like Brachiosaurus, et cetera, were considered these, as he describes it, large platters of meat waiting for a predator like T-Rex to come in and eat it. That is phenomenal. This is great. Oh, oh, amazing. All right, wait, we, we got, uh, yeah, okay. So we have a tail here. I can see that it goes, this construction of this, sorry, assembly, not quite construction. Yeah, it's construction. Assembly of this is really straightforward and intuitive. Uh, and I think I have one more piece here, which is the flexible tail. Yes. That is a parent who added that little detail. Um, okay, so let's see. How does this work? This goes in. Wait. Oh, I see. All right. Dude, this is Dreadnoughtus. The real thing is about two and a half stories to here. 85 feet long. Uh, this is the mass of eight or nine T-Rexes. Uh, and that is the reason that Ken named it Dreadnoughtus Shrenai. Dreadnoughtus means fears nothing. And as Ken points out, the American bison in Yellowstone harm far more people than any of the carnivores wandering around Yellowstone, the cats and the, uh, the wolves. Uh, you don't wanna get on the bad side of a hippo or a rhino. Uh, and so Ken, I think in naming Dreadnoughtus, did a great service to uh, the past herbivores of revealing just uh, what magnificent creatures they were. Oh, and his mouth opens, dude. Yeah. So you never know what I might be adding to my collection on any given day. This is so, so awesome. Look at how high you can go. Uh, he talked about at one point that if these things fell over, literally if they just fell, they would die because of the mass of their flesh and their bones, it would literally tear them apart. But because of that, they were probably remarkably stable. 85 feet. Um, I can barely conceive of that. What is a person about this tall here? Yeah, maybe about this tall, about three inches. Uh, there's probably a scale, but I haven't spent time at the beginning of this video figuring it out, so I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, oh, 
We are also going to, uh, in the description below is a uh, link to Ken's amazing TED Talk, one of my favorite TED Talks ever about the discovery of Dreadnoughtus and specifically how you go find dinosaur bones. Uh, Dreadnoughtus and I are now gonna have lunch. We're pretty hungry for some plant material. Thanks you guys, see you next time. Oh, okay, I almost forgot one last thing, which is the reason Dreadnoughtus, it's so cool that he's a toy, is because he's in the Jurassic World movie and Ken got to see the dinosaur he discovered brought to life with all the artistry that Hollywood has to bring. And Ken said it was an astounding thing to see it. He was really, really pleased with how Dreadnoughtus came out in the movie. Uh, and I just, I just love all those elements coming together from young Ken the paleontologist in training to now the toy coming out because he found a femur in Patagonia. That is freaking awesome. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick my measuring forearm uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body because I use mine every single day.